Hello viewers, today we're going to be straightening an air conditioner coil. For those that are following the project, this is the vintage Westinghouse unit that I've been restoring. At this point I've done half the coil already. This left half has been straightened. You can see it looks pretty good now. And the right half is still banged up in a lot of places and in need of straightening. So to do this I'm going to use two tools. I'm going to use a coil comb. And there's a couple different styles that these are available in. I happen to like this plastic kind. And these are measured in Finn's prints. There's a couple different sizes. I have uh, 12 different ones here actually. And to get the right size, you want there to be uh, one fin in between each coil. So this one you can see if I, if I kind of stick this into the coil here, it, it fits. Whereas one that's too small, for instance this one, there's more fins than there is spaces in between the coil. And one that's too big would give you fins that are bigger than the spaces between the coils. So you want to use one that's the right size. The other thing I like to have available is a screwdriver, a common screwdriver. And one that's kind of older and worn out. You can see this one's kind of rounded around the corners. It's been used a lot and this isn't sharp at all versus a newer bit like this one for instance where it's very sharp and has uh, you know jagged corners if you will this is great for pulling screws out but not so much for sliding through a coil so um, these work pretty well and for the most part you can pull most all the damage out using with this alone However, there is some cases where you're going to want to use the screwdriver as a supplement. For instance, right down here, you can see this This has really uh, took a good beating here and it's really bent up. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to go through here with the screwdriver and I'm going to kind of pull this back out. I'm not going to worry about precision or anything. I just want to get it somewhat straightened out again. Because this, the coil comb probably won't get through. And even right here, it's, it's kind of jacked up a bit. Let's see if I can pull that out of there. Now this up here. This may be a lost cause. Something really deep went in there. Huh? Well, maybe I can get it back out. This this is certainly not something for the impatient. This uh, is a very time consuming process and it takes a lot of patience to get through it. So now that this is somewhat as it should be, I'm going to get the comb going here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert it above the damage in a good spot. So right here is, is pretty good. And I'm going to stick it in all the way like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to rock it like this and slowly push it down. And it's like any other tool. You want this to do the work. You don't want to just force it down because you'll tear the coil. So go like this and let it, you know, you have to apply some force, but kind of let it flow through the coil. And it's getting a little bit hung up here. That's fine. Just do more of the sideways motion. And just let it slowly sift through here and straighten everything out. And it's hanging up again. It's going to take some time to get through where it was really jammed up there. Okay, but it got through. I'm going to move over a couple rows and, and go through this again and get, get all of it out. See, it's going through a little easier now that it's getting back into shape.
Now once it's straightened out, this will kind of just go right through the coil. So as you can see here, it, it's not flawless. That one, uh, that one uh, piece right there is kind of jacked up still, but that's going to let all the air through that it's supposed to. So you can really get it, it fixed pretty well uh, with one of these things. But it is a, a kind of a tedious process, so it really pays to spend a little extra time when you're handling the units to be careful not to damage it. So I'm going to go through here and, and do the rest of the coil, finish it off, and then we'll take a, a look at it when we're all done. All right, so there we go. That's all fixed up, and it's ready to exchange some heat. You can kind of still see at some angles where it was really jacked up, but that's just from you know it being scraped. It's not actually bent anywhere anymore. Not bad looking for a coil that came out of the trash. The evaporating coil isn't quite so bad, but who might as well do this one as well. This one's going to go a lot faster because the coil is straight. It's not like that jagged style that was on the um, the condenser. There was a problematic area right here where it got really folded in and I wasn't able to fully correct that but other than that the coil looks pretty good and it's certainly going to work just fine. So those coils are all set and ready to go.